Welcome to Weddings Unveiled, the podcast designed to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. Here's your host, Angela Profit. Hi, y'all. It's Angela Profit, your event and productivity therapist, coming to you from the heart of Music City in Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Weddings Unveiled, professional tips and secrets on wedding planning and event design, where we take you behind the scenes of our past experiences in the event industry, what we have learned from them, and how they have made us stronger. This podcast will help you grow a productive and profitable business to launch you into success within the hospitality industry. Hi, y'all. It's Angela Prophet, and I'm super, super excited to be talking with Rhonda Cammon of Bar Seat with RSC today. Welcome, Rhonda. Thank you, Angela. Thank you for having me. Of course. Let's start off by telling our listeners about your background. So I have been in the food and beverage industry for over 17 years. Started out at this place called Bennigan's, which I may be dating myself, but um, started there and worked my way up to the bar. And back then, upgrading your drink was putting a little bit of orange juice in your top shelf margarita. We were we were really fancy back then. Wow. And so I started in the food and beverage industry then. And it's just been always been a passion of mine. And I've continued up until now. Awesome. So things are very different now with, uh, I guess you would say like extra <laughs> with with how things are going with drinking and mixology and the events. And which leads me into the next question. How did you get started in the weddings and events industry? Well, I started doing mobile bartending services. And I have a lot of friends and my sister is in the wedding industry. And so I started doing it and also working with a lot of people in the wedding industry and just by association. And one thing that was missing from weddings were craft cocktails. Yes. uh, Quality ingredients, um, different types of cocktails. You know, people got tired of Jack and Coke. Vodka and uh, vodka and Coke or a gin and tonic. There was no creativity, especially when it came to weddings and celebrations. And so I saw that need and said, hey, we can upgrade this. Girl, you jumped on it, right? Yeah. Like, what would you say um, is one of the most popular signature drinks that you may be asked to do? Well, I think that it's not... A lot of people do not know what they like to drink. Exactly. So you kind of have to tell them this is what's available to you. And uh, things that are very popular right now are one mocktails. Okay. A lot of people are like, well, you know, I want to drink, but I really don't want to drink. I want to have variety. So a mocktail means? Something Mm -hmm. with Without alcohol. Okay, without alcohol. Without sacrificing flavor. Gotcha. Okay. Another thing that we specialize in are uh, wine-based cocktails. Oh, okay. Yep. So we do, we'll do an old-fashioned, we'll do a sangria, we'll do mimosas, our bellinis, and everything is wine-based. Cool. And another thing that we like to tell, tell our customers about are cocktails using fresh ingredients and fresh mixers. Okay. So those are like the three most popular things right now. Gotcha. That's awesome. Are you guys into doing like the custom ice if people ask for that? Like, have you had people great ask question, that? Angela. <laughs> and the reason why it's a great question is because we have just mastered clear ice. There are some companies here that can provide it, but you know, I'm really hands on. Um, and so we just invested in the uh, materials and supplies to provide clear ice. We also do, uh, custom ice. Okay. So we did, I did an event for A and D events. Uh huh. And we did their influencer party and their colors were like, turquoise. Ooh. And that really was a challenge, a fun challenge, because it was like, how do I do a turquoise drink? Right. That's still natural 
and fresh tasting. And so we are partnered with another company here in Nashville that does organic cotton candy. Ooh. Love Nashville. And we incorporated the organic cotton candy into, we made a custom flavor. We incorporated that into the ice cubes. Shut up. Yes. And so what happened was when you poured the cocktail in the glass, it was like turquoise and it was like a turquoise ice cube. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so, so cute. So we do different flavors, different shapes. Okay. Uh, clear ice, uh, crushed ice for tiki drinks. Oh. We do all types of ice. We're really on it when it comes Verse. to Verse. Yeah. It's like I never thought like... I mean, my clients are so into like the minute details. Mm -hmm. And so when we talk about like cocktails and mixology mm -hmm. and even down to bread and butter, it's like, what kind of butter do you like? Yeah. And do you want honey butter? Do you want it whipped? And now it's like moved over from food into drinks. Yeah. And it's like, well, what kind of ice is going to go with those three or four signature drinks? Mm -hmm. And then now they're like, well, what about the stirs and the custom straws? And I mean, and then and the beverage napkins, it's like everything is extra, extra, extra. But I love that. Like, that's what people remember. Like, people walk away and they're like, damn, it tastes good. And it looked pretty. And it's branded. Yeah. So it's amazing. I love it. Um, so what, we kind of talked about this, but like, if you um, could hear your clients like talking about you, like what would they say? Like, why do they love you? They love the fact that I'm able to bring their vision to life and that I'm not pushy. And I'm like, I'm, I'm with you. I'm here with you. I got it. And so I make the process very simple for them. And they love that. And then when they when we do our tastings, I, it just wait. Well, so you do a tasting? Yes. Ooh. Yeah. So we'll do it um, with all of my clients. We we have a discussion. Okay. And then I throw out some ideas. You give me some ideas, and then it all comes together at the tasting. And so when they get to the tasting, they're like, "Oh my gosh, this was more than I could." fathom or think of. I had one client who wanted, she was having a women's event and she wanted a custom cocktail. And so I said, okay, I gotcha. So I came and we did, the theme was pineapple. Okay. So we, Which is hospitality. Yeah. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Someone recently told me that. <laughs> Like, really? I've been, they're like, Angela, you work in the hospitality industry. You've been sleeping yeah. in a rock, girl. <laughs> so that's why the pineapple sh a bar shakers were very popular. It's all about hospitality. Yeah. Um, so that was the theme. The theme was pineapple. So I came, uh, came with a custom cocktail. It was a uh, roasted pineapple marmalade. It was a pineapple simple. It was a citrus vodka. And it was a pineapple seltzer oh, with love. some citrus bitters. She loved it. And what was great about that cocktail was that all we had to do was eliminate the vodka. And she had a great custom mocktail yes. that people loved. So I love we were it. So able to have this really great, complex, fresh drink uh -huh. that could go either way. And she loved it. She was like, I just wanted a cocktail. I didn't think I was going to get all this. Oh, yeah. And if you're like doing all women. So I recently learned um, I'm like all into aesthetics. Like the older I get, I'm yeah. like, I need Botox. <laughs> I need all that stuff. And so pineapple um, helps with inflammation, like all through your body. Did you know that? Yes. Oh, I didn't know Because that. I've also, <laughs> well, well, we, I try to. A piece of the masses. And yeah. Very knowledgeable. Yeah. Uh, just because you're drinking something with alcohol and it doesn't mean it has to be non-healthy. Right. So what we do here at Bar Seat with RSC is that we will incorporate fresh ginger, which is great for digestion. Oh. Uh, we what we just did a cocktail with uh, kefir. What's Which that? Is, it's a, a fermented uh, beverage made from grains. Oh. And we have somebody uh, here locally that we get that from. It was pear and cardamom. Okay. It has digestive enzymes like uh, like kombucha. What's that? Okay. Girl, I don't cook. Okay, Angela. <laughs> I, I need you to get with it. <laughs> 
I we, stay in my lane. We have to change that. We have to make that. We have to make that change <laughs> and make that tasting happen. But kombucha and kefir has they have enzymes, digestive enzymes like probiotics. Okay. And so this is something where you drink it and you you're really literally helping with like gut health. That's amazing. You know? But we're able to pair that with alcohol and make that cocktail light, refreshing, tasty, okay. and still have health benefits. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. So you can drink and be healthy. Yes, you can. Woohoo! Woohoo! So would you say that there are any challenges in the wedding and event industry from the bar side that that you face? Uh, yes. And, um, you know, for all the listeners out there, I am a 30 plus, um, plus, plus, uh, you don't look 30. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's the oil of ole and the, and the vodka, but, uh, <laughs> but the organic vodka. Yeah. Uh, but no, I am a 30 plus plus African American female and I wear a size 12. And so the one of the things is people have preconceived notions that hey what does this lady know about mixology or craft cocktails so that's always a challenge on mm-hmm. trying to beat those preconceived notions that people have for you and it's really a challenge in the food and beverage industry as a whole mm-hmm. when it comes to women and people of color mm-hmm. so one if you're a woman, they're they're looking at you crazy. Like, what does she know? Mm-hmm. I need someone from California with a Justin Bieber haircut. No, <laughs> no, no qualms with Justin Bieber and you're stylish. You look great. <laughs> However, that's what they think a bartender is supposed Perception. to look correct yep. supposed to look like. I'm supposed, and if I'm a woman, I need to have tights on, a V-neck t-shirt. A push-up bra. With some your padding. boobs hanging out. Yeah. And so it's like, no, no. Um, you know, I've had kids. This is that's not a good look for me. Right. So that frequency. <laughs> so it's always challenging being a woman and a woman of color to try to tell people, I know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. I am a mixologist. I am a bartender. I can provide the flavor profiles that you don't even know you want. Uh huh. So that's always a challenge. So it's like yeah. a double whammy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, I just to play off of that a little bit, I mean, I shared the exact same challenge where I'm a girl mm-hmm. and um, not just in the wedding industry, but in the productivity industry and in the healthcare industry, they're like, oh, that's that little blonde girl. And it's like, I play the dumb blonde card when I need to or when I want to. But what I have learned is when you open your mouth and when you want to educate people and when you want to be helpful and when you want to sell, we know what we're doing. And it takes about five minutes for us to open our mouth and then you gain people's listening skills and then they listen a little bit more and then you gain their trust and then you help them and they're like damn then they don't see you as a woman of color or with blonde hair it's like you become it's like we're real people you know just because we're a woman that know what we're talking about exactly go figure exactly who knew who knew you know we can multitask yeah so i completely completely share the same thing with you you know i have to admit The uh, royal wedding, you know, like the first American, like was married into the royal family. And I don't know much about like, I don't watch TV and stuff. And so I recently saw an interview with um, Megan and she opened her mouth. It's the first time I've ever heard her speak. And I'm like, wow, she's really smart. Like I was very impressed and I'm not easily impressed by people, but she was speaking about being a feminist and about women business leaders and owning it and owning your story and embracing it and not being perfect. And, um, you know, she's on TV and she's an actress and it's like the perception of what she does professionally. And now that she's in the limelight of this royal family, it was all about that. And I was like, damn, that was a good speech, Mm. you know, and it instantly, not that I had, I don't even care, but it's just like, I I instantly respected her, you know, as a woman, I was like, oh, I can relate to you, Mm. you know, and not that I like her, don't, I don't even know her, but I did have several people, they're like, do you have anything to do with the royal wedding? I'm like, it'd be nice, but if I did, I wouldn't tell you anyway, that's confidential (laughs) information, (laughs) 
Anyway, it's just funny. Um, I, I digress here. Um, so tell our listeners where they can find out more about you. Well, they can find me at our website at barseat with rsc.com. And we're on Instagram and we're on Facebook and we're on Twitter and we're on Pinterest. And pretty soon we'll probably be in your backyards. But if we are, it's going to be under barseat with RSC and you will find us on all social media handles. Love it. And so what, do you have any type of um, special for our listeners? Great question, Angela. (laughs) Who doesn't love a special? I love a special. Do you like a special? I love it. Okay. So for a limited time, if you follow us on Instagram, and com- follow us. And also, if you want a little extra comment, Angela Profit, we're giving 15% off all bar services. Love it. So that's going to be for 30 days um, from the time that this airs. And so if you fo- once again, if you follow us on Instagram. Both of us. Yes. Bar Seat with RSC. Um, follow Angela Profit. You get 15% off for the 30 days that this is going to air. I love it. And last question. So do you have a minimum number of guests that you guys work with for a private party? And I know we don't have a maximum. I mean, you can probably take on thousands, but... You're just full of great questions. A lot of people ask that. Look at you being prepared. (laughs) Um, No, we have done uh, groups as small as 10. Okay. Um, We do a lot of spirit and cocktail education. So I'm going to be doing, I had another, a client that just reached out. Her grandmother is having a birthday and she wants to do a bourbon class for her grandmother. Fun. I know, right? So it's going to be about 12 people and we are going to do a bourbon education class with cocktails and tasting just for that small group. So no group is too small. You know, hey, it could be me and you. You got the money, I got the time, and the liquor. We can drink. Woohoo! It's an investment. Yes, it is. Right? Because when you know better, you drink better. I love that! There you go, girl. All right, be sure to follow on Instagram. Is that the main platform that you find engagement? It is for us. Well, I do also videos. Okay. And Facebook? So- on, on Facebook, Facebook, yes. And so we've had it. a lot of engagement and people have really found us Okay, in, on Facebook. So okay. I do videos. Um, I do video, I do all types of videos. I love it. I did videos with my son. I do videos with friends. I do videos with my husband. I love it. I do videos with themes. Okay. Um, and so we, it's a little, it's a little twofold. We get a lot of people, older people, um, that find us on Facebook and they engage. Okay. And then we have people all over the world okay. that find us on Instagram. I love it. I will get an inbox like, hey, sh- saying hi from, from Dublin or Germany. That's like, awesome. It's like, okay. That's awesome. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We'll, we'll have to have you back whenever you get your product line launched. Anytime. I'm Little here. teaser there. Yes. Um, well, thank you so much, Rhonda, for coming by today and joining us on Weddings Unveiled. Thank you, Angela. Y'all have a great day. Bye. If you found this podcast helpful, please share it with other wedding and event professionals. Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to tune in next week for more tips on how to grow your business. And if you have a question or an unresolved issue that you want guidance on, connect with us on AngelaProfit.com. For more valuable resources, again, visit the website. And until next time, remember to stay productive and profitable. You've been listening to Weddings Unveiled with Angela Profit. Join us next time for more insights to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. For more great resources, head over to AngelaProfit.com.